KPYGM Cats. This is Sid Goldman with you for the next few hours on another beautiful afternoon in Detroit. How are you all doing today? Sneaking out of work? Picking up the kids? Sipping a cool one in Riverside Park? We're going way, way back now with an oldie but goodie. wanted to go. It was her time. And her family was there. It was, it was peaceful. Natural. Sorry I didn't make it back in time. I had to stay. I just hungered in the morgue until sundown. In one of the drawers. They're actually not too bad. Stevie home. Shit. You all right? Oh, oh. Oh. Hey, get the fuck off! Hey, just walk away, pal. Oh, all right. All right. Ah, shit, hold on. I think I left my girlfriend in there. No, you didn't. Hey, look, I paid my money to get in, OK? I'm a respected patron around these parts, yeah? Not here, you're not. You're bored. You're not welcome. It's okay, Mom. He's not five anymore. But it's his favorite. I'm okay, Mrs. McCollin. Thank you. Sorry, man. She's not used to having an Ivy Leaguer in the house. She's really proud of you. She's proud of you, too, I'm, I'm sure. Remember when we were, like, four and we put all of her mac and cheese in her purse? <laughs> She still uses that, you know. So where's this warehouse party? It's uh, it's over by the old mall. Not a lot of hipster joints are opening up around there. Ooh, edgy. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's good. Local business. It's, it's cool. But they still serve beer, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, baby. I told Greg I'd have this one good to go by the morning. Won't be long. It's OK. I think we should go. Guess you didn't plan anything then. Oh, might just be a fun surprise. Did you think our 50th anniversary was a fun surprise? That was a real doozy. That was 10 years ago. We nearly died. Like, a true death. But nothing's happened since then. You know, it could just be a nice surprise. He is always worse around our anniversary. I can count on one hand how many times I've seen him this month. Do you know where he is? What he does? Come on, we swore. No more bodies, no more risks. I risk. I risk my job getting us that stuff. And for what? <laughs> you think he appreciates it? You think he... He sticks to it? He promised. It's Stevie, baby. Come on. He promised. <laughs> Why do you think we had to leave Modesto three years ago? He said he had local trouble. Just because we didn't have to clean up doesn't mean there wasn't any mess. It's the past. Move on. Brucey, <laughs> we are 79 years old, and he still behaves like he's 19. <laughs> You're telling me he doesn't feed? 
Why does he go out drinking if he can't even get drunk? Come on, no one's around. Cheers. Hey, do you remember that party at Emma's? It was when me and her were like kind of breaking up. It was like when I was trying to make you come to a party, any party all summer. I, I think I do. <laughs> come on, you remember. Or it, it, maybe you don't. It was when you were like, trying really hard to keep up with us, and then you ended up throwing up all over Josh's new board shorts. <laughs> oh, God, I thought they were gonna beat the living shit out of you. They might as well have. Oh, come on. Well, come on? How much for one of those beers? Much obliged. You're welcome. Have a good one. Where are you guys heading? <sighs> Fuck. So now Stevie, huh? It's only been five minutes. He'll be here. We could leave. We could go right now. He won't know where we are. Exactly. We could leave. I thought you were sick of starting over. You've never started over. It's been the same since you turned me, since you turned him. Honey, it's our anniversary. Exactly. We could choose to, to start our own lives away from him and his bullshit. No more chaos. We get to control our future. Our fucking endless future. Please. Just you and me. Wouldn't you like that? Of course, of course I want that. But, but what? This isn't about him, is it? What do you mean? This isn't about him, this is about her. No, Jesus. Oh, turning me was just easier than apologizing for her. It was just one time. Yeah, one time that changed the rest of our entire lives. You said you wanted this. I was 19! So was I. Now, trust me, this party is gonna be brutal. Sounds great. <laughs> um, by the way, man, nice jacket. Oh, I thank you, Yale. It's vintage. Yale? Yeah. Smart guy like you. But you got guys lining up around the block. <laughs> it's nothing, really. No, it's not. Well, what do I call you? Whatever you want. OK. Let's see. Leather jacket. Pretty good looking. The wrong side of the tracks. Mm. <laughs> Romeo. Oh. Oh, be still, my beating heart. <laughs> so, Yale, what do we call him? Hmm? Costco. Costco? Yeah, because you're well stocked. <laughs> I mean, come on, look at him. You could eat this guy for dinner, am I right? Hey, let's be honest. You need more in life than book smarts, huh? Yeah, hell yeah. He wants to be a mechanic. I am a mechanic. I fix bikes in the joint at 123rd Street. Yeah, I know the place. Aprils, right? He could have gone to college, got a scholarship and everything. I didn't want to. Come 
Come on, try something new. I can tell you're not from around here, but let me tell you, nothing here ever changes. That's not true. Yeah, it is. At Yale, I find something new every single day. In this town, what you're born with is what you die with. Look, I know what I've wanted to do since I was 12. 12? What? You don't see me wanting to be a space shuttle commander. Look, I love fixing engines. I'm good at it and I get paid. What's wrong with that? Hey, nothing like the kind of hard on you get when you're riding a bike. You know, all that power between your legs. <laughs> you mean the bike? <laughs> I love this guy. Hey, hey, what the fuck, man? What? He just grabbed my dick. Hey, I thought we were all having fun here, buddy. I wasn't even thinking about you that night. All I cared about was her and that house. That stupid fucking house. I don't even remember what she looks like anymore. It doesn't matter. But it does. Don't you see? You were just a kid. No, but I never should have dragged you both into this. No, it was our choice, too. But if I had never... No, it's not always up to you. But it's all my fault. I thought I was giving you the world, and instead, I gave you Stevie. <laughs> are, are you laughing at me? <laughs> I'm sorry. Not at you. I just... <sighs> Come on. I love you. I forgive you. You should forgive yourself, too, or we'll never get out of this damn place. What? Stevie. Can you sense him? No, I can hear him, the son of a bitch. I said to leave me alone. Come on, Costco. Yeah, Danny, we're just having fun. Yeah, well, I'm not. Oh, come on, you fags. Let's hug it out, yeah? Whip, hey! I'm serious, man. Don't touch me! Okay, sure. <laughs> I'm warning you. Oh, let's just go, man. Come on, let's just go. Yeah. Oh, big boy. Ooh. You go now, Costco. Follow your master. Oh, you go now. Good boy. You go now. Come on! I, I'm sorry. He's an asshole. I know. A real asshole. He's your friend? I guess so, yeah. He needs a leash. You're telling me. Come on, man, let's just go, please. Happy anniversary. <laughs> oh! Oh! Well, that was something. You said nothing ever happens around here. Are we okay? Do you, um, do you still want to go to that club? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Pizza? Sabinos! Sabinos. <laughs> Anything but your mom's mac and cheese. OK, come on now. Just leave, OK? I don't care. Just go. You never wanted me here anyway, OK? No one ever wants me. They never have and they never will. So just go. Leave, OK? Just, just leave me here for the sun to come up. You promised me the world. And instead, I gave you Stevie. <laughs> Wait, this isn't funny. This is my life. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> Guys!